Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video. This time is going to be a question for the Grey 11. This question is question four from the Eastern Cape a paper done in 2022 and is related to Newton's law. Before we carry on, subscribe for the channel so you can get all the notifications and videos I post on regular basis. Okay, this question says a rescue helicopter is lifted two people upward as shown in the diagram below. The tension in the cable is 1205,4 Newton while the helicopter ascends at constant speed. So the speed of the helicopter moving upward is constant. Ignore a resistance and that is quite important here. Okay, so we have that the tension on this rope upward T is equal to 1205,4 Newton. We know that one there. There we know that the speed is constant, therefore the acceleration is zero. Okay, so let's write that one there. And there is no a friction. Stay Newton's second law of motion in words. So let's quickly write down Newton's second law of motion in words here. And what this law state? The law state that when resultant force acts on an object, the object will accelerate in the direction of the resultant force. The acceleration is directly proportional to the resultant force, guys, and that is the first mark of this, and then um, inversely proportional to the mass of the object. That's the second mark for this definition. Question 4.2, calculate the combined mass of the two people. Now, to do that, the first thing we're going to do is to draw the free body diagram of all the forces acting on those people that are in the, uh, hanging in the cable of the helicopter. In this case, the object is moving upward, so there is only the y-axis. I like to draw the axis. You know that. You've been following me. You know that one. Now, the forces acting on the men, on these people here, is only tension, which is pointing upward, and then weight, which is pointing downward. All right? That is the two forces acting on the men. Now, what is important to know? Because the object is moving upward, we are going to take upward as positive. So we're going to say here, up is positive. All right, and we are going to apply Newton's law. Now, there is something important here. These people are moving at constant velocity. So the correct formula to use, the correct law to apply here will be Newton's first law. Okay, this one is question 4.2. Newton's first law. However, I see in the memo that they want you to write F net is equal to m a now this one is newton's second law however in this question it's supposed to be applying newton first law. i'm going to write this one here because i don't know how you people work at specific school okay so in this case is what happened we say up is positive the forces are tension minus weight is equal to zero and then if we substitute here tension minus mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity is equal to zero tension will be equal to mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity um, and when you substitute what you have here the tension is going to be equal to uh, 1205 comma from looking at the note right now the mess is what we are looking for and the acceleration due to gravity is 9,8 when you rearrange for mass, not m, a number more. Mass will be equal to 1,205,4 divided by a 9,8. We get that the mass is equal to 123 kilogram. Note, this is the mass combined. This is the mass of both men. It's not only one person, okay? So that is important here. 4.2. 4.3, the helicopter now starts to accelerate upward at 2,25 meters per second square. Calculate the tension in the cable. So it's similar. The only difference is that now, now we're supposed to apply Newton's second law. So we are going to do 4.2. This does not change anything from the free body diagram. So we're going to keep it. It's 4.3. The only difference would be that now the tension will be slightly bigger than the um, 
of weight. That is the only difference with the free body diagram. In this case, F net is equal to MA. Now it's correct, this Newton's second law. What forces are acting there? Tension minus weight is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. We have that uh, tension minus uh, weight, um, which is MG. That's right here, MG is equal to MA. And if we substitute everything here, we have the tension is equal to uh, 100 and no, not equal, not equal. Let's substitute the latest minus 123 multiplied by 9,8 equal to 123 multiplied by the acceleration, which is given in 2,25, 2,25. And this is just calculation now. You will get that the tension is equal to 1482,15 Newton. And this is the answer for this question. I also think this is an easy question and this is all for now. I hope you understand it's a quite uh, easy question, but it is uh, going to be asked very similar questions like this one in the exam. Okay, next time we're going to be working with uh, Newton's law of universal gravitation. Don't mess up that, that video, but thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, thumb up, Mr. G here.